Hey everybody, Sean from Media Salt here, and it's time once again for another episode of my Essential Movie series, and I am reviewing every movie in this book, which is Joe Layden's Guide to Essential Movies that You Must See If You Read, Write About, or Make Movies. This is actually episode number 13, and you can see right there that the movie is His Girl Friday. And this is actually... Uh, starting a chapter called Men and Women, so a lot of my films from this point forward are going to be probably relationship type movies. And this is a great way to kick it off. His Girl Friday is a movie from 1940. It was directed by Howard Hawks, stars Cary Grant and Rosalind Russell, along with Ralph Bellamy. And uh, I'm going to give you a very, very quick plot summary because this movie is hilarious and it's fast-paced and it's carried by the dialogue and this movie will carry you through its 92 minute running time very quickly uh, and the pleasure of this movie is getting to the plot through the plot to the end of the movie seemingly as fast as possible so I don't want to spend a lot of time on the plot uh, but basically what happens is Hildy Johnson who is a former newspaper reporter uh, brings her soon-to-be husband and Hildy Johnson is played by Rosalind Russell brings her soon-to-be husband Bruce who's played by Ralph Bellamy to the newspaper where she used to work to visit her ex-boss who actually is her ex-husband Walter Burns who is played by Cary Grant now when Burns finds out that she's about to be remarried he pulls out all the stops to a keep her in his life and B get her to work for the newspaper again which she may or may not want to do in the first place um, and that's all I'm gonna tell you about the plot that's all you really need to know um, this movie has some of the best dialogue I've ever heard in a film um, and I know it's sort of retroactive uh, listening to this and thinking of something that came after that I'd seen first but I was reminded of David Mamet and a lot of his dialogue in some of his films, but it's clear that this is what influenced that, uh, if anything did. And there's a lot of overlapping dialogue, a lot of rapid fire, machine gun type dialogue, but everything is understandable. Um, and it's the pacing, which is brilliant, that really makes this movie. And the performances are fantastic too. Cary Grant is just superb as Walter Burns. Rosalind Russell, who carries the latter half of the film, uh, basically interacting with a lot of the other newspaper reporters um, from other papers around town while she gets involved in this sort of political uh, criminal type thing and I won't spoil that at all uh, but she carries the majority of the film by herself but it is the scenes with her and Cary Grant that are the best um, just a fantastically funny movie I can't think of two better people to play these roles than Rosalind Russell and Cary Grant um, and uh, I'm, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Really, this film is, is a, it's a comedy that made me laugh out loud more so than many modern comedies. And for a movie that's, uh, you know, 70 some odd years old, it still holds up fantastically well. Um, and one thing I do want to tell you is that if you're going to search this out and you're going to try and, and watch it, don't watch it on uh, Amazon Instant Streaming if you happen to be an Amazon Prime member. Uh, you may want to rent it, pay the extra money, and actually rent it from them because I think if you rent it, you'll get a copy of this version, which is from Columbia. The reason I say that is because the copyright on this movie actually expired, so it's in the public domain, but Columbia did go ahead and do a restoration on a print and release it under their Columbia Classics uh, label, and uh, this is really the way to see it with the print cleaned up and a really good restoration job done to it. So if you're going to see it, allow it to look as good as it possibly can. Um, you know, repeated viewings, you may want to watch it on Amazon Instant or a public domain copy if you're familiar with it, but for the first time viewing it, definitely give it uh, the proper uh, respect by seeing it on a clean print. Um, really, I can't say enough about this movie. A, a 10 out of 10 rating really should say it all, but uh, I just have to say that I don't remember a comedy uh, of 90 minutes or more flying by as fast as this one in a long time. So 
Um, if you're somebody who really can appreciate, uh, you know, a movie that is 70 some odd years old, make allowances for, you know, there are going to be some differences in dialogue between now and back then, but definitely give this one a chance. It's really worth it. And uh, I think you'll have a good time watching His Girl Friday um, from 1940. Uh, actually, the next film, uh, actually, let me check and see what it is. I don't even know what it's going to be. Dark Victory with Betty Davis is actually the next film. Uh, so stay tuned for that on my Essential Movie Series. And uh, if you've been following along, thanks for watching uh, the series. And if this is the first episode you've seen, check out the playlist, which is available on my channel for the previous 12 episodes. And uh, i still got quite a ways to go th to get through this, but I'm finally making some progress on it. So thanks for watching. And as always, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching. See ya.